Welcome to this lesson on the personal, reflexive, and possessive pronouns in the Gothic language. The Gothic pronoun for the first person in the nominative is ik, I, wit, we both, wies, we. Genitive, mina, of me, unkara, of us both, unsara, of us. The asterisk next to the dual form Unkara indicates that this is a reconstructed form that does not actually appear in any of the Gothic texts we have. Dative, mis, to me, unkis, to us both, uns or unsis, to us. Accusative, mik, mi, unkis, as both, uns or sometimes unsis, us. Second person, nominative singular, thu, thou, dual, presumably jut, ye both, plural, jus, or maybe jus, ye. Genitive, thina, of thee, inquara, of you both, iswara, of you. Dative, thus, to thee, inquis, to you both, iswis, to you. Accusative, Thuk, the, inquis, you both, iswis, you. Athanik dopia iswis in watin, ithis dopi iswis in achmin wihamma. I well douse you in water, but he douseth you in the Holy Ghost. And in Greek, ego mene baptisa umas enudati, autos de baptisi umas en pneumati agio. Besides the pronouns for the first and second person, we see also one for the third person in this sentence. The paradigm for this is as follows. Singular nominative masculine, is, he, neuter, ita, it, feminine, si, she. Genitive, is, of him or of it, isos, of her. Dative, imma. To him or to it, ise, to her. Accusative, ina, him, ita, it, ia, her. Plural, nominative masculine, is, neuter, ia, feminine, supposedly, ios, they. Genitive, masculine and neuter, ise, feminine, iso, of them. Dative, im, to them. Accusative, masculine, ins, neuter, supposedly, ia, feminine, ios, them. Yachik wulthu thanigaft mis, gavim, i siena en, swaswe witten siu. And the glory that thou gavest me, I gave to them, so that they be one, just as we both are one. In Greek, ke roten doxan, En dedokas mu, dedoka autus, inaos sinen, kathos emis enesmen. As you may have observed here, the pronouns thou and they in the English translation have no counterpart in the Gothic text. In contrast to modern English, where a verb form in almost all instances is accompanied by an overt subject, in Gothic this is not necessary and subject pronouns are usually only used for emphasis. Another detail I deem noteworthy is that in the original Greek text the pronoun emis is plural, not dual, that would be expected in classical Greek, but was long outdated by the time the New Testament was written. The Gothic translation nevertheless uses the very rare dual pronoun wit and the equally rare agreeing dual verb form siu. Iusiuth iusi garechtans domi thiswi silvans in andwerthia manne. Ye are who assert yourselves as righteous in the sight of people. Umis este udike unte se autus en opion ton anthropon. Iusi is the relative pronoun for the second person plural nominative that is formed from the corresponding personal pronoun by adding the enclitic particle e. Note that the voiceless s at the end of the pronoun use becomes voiced z due to its position between vowels. 
This is also true for the other forms of the personal pronoun when forming the relative. Thus, thusi from thus, iswisi from iswis. The second new thing we see in this sentence is that the object personal pronoun iswis, used here in the reflexive meaning yourselves, is reinforced by the agreeing accusative plural form of the demonstrative pronoun silva, self, the declension of which is as follows. Singular nominative masculine silva, neuter and feminine silvo. Genitive masculine and neuter silvins, feminine silvones. Dative masculine and neuter silvin, feminine silvone. Accusative masculine silvan, neuter silvo, feminine silvone. Plural nominative masculine silvans, neuter silvona, feminine silvones. Genitive masculine and neuter silvane, feminine silvono. Dative masculine and neuter silvam, feminine silvom. Accusative masculine silvans, neuter silvona, feminine silvones. This declension pattern, by the way, is what we call the weak adjective paradigm. In the first and second persons, the object cases of the personal pronoun, both on their own as well as in combination with the agreeing forms of silva, can be used as reflexives, meaning myself, thyself, ourselves, and yourselves, respectively. However, for the third person, there are special reflexive forms. The dative case is cis for all genders and numbers, thus meaning to himself, to herself, to itself, or to themselves. The accusative is sick, meaning himself, herself, itself, or themselves. The genitive form is only attested once in the combination sin amisso, meaning to each other. In most other instances, the reciprocal adverb misso is accompanied by one of the dative or accusative forms sis, sic, uns, or iswis. Silva us wachsansist, inafrechnith, silva bisik rodie. He is grown up, ask him. He may speak on himself. In Greek, autos elikian echi, auton erotesate, autos periautula lesi. Note that silva is the subject in both the first and the third part of the sentence, used in much the same way as the personal pronoun is, and unlike its English cognate self, is not part of the reflexive in the prepositional phrase here. Bithe gahosida pilatus thata word, mesochtasis. When Pilate heard that word, he became more afraid. Ote unekusen o pilatos tuton ton logon, as you can see, here the reflexive cis is an idiomatic element of the Gothic version that has no direct counterpart in the original Greek text, nor in my English translation. Let us finally take a look at the possessive pronouns. These are formed on the basis of the genitive of the corresponding personal pronoun. They are inflected following the strong adjective paradigm. First person singular possessive pronoun, singular nominative masculine, means, neuter mean, or occasionally minata, feminine mina, my. Genitive masculine and neuter minis, feminine minesos, of my. Dative masculine and neuter minama, feminine mine, to my. Accusative masculine minana, neuter mean, or minata, Feminine mina, my. Plural nominative masculine mine, neuter mina, feminine minos, my. Genitive masculine and neuter minese, feminine mineso, of my. Dative masculine neuter and feminine minem, to my. Accusative masculine minans, neuter mina, feminine minos, my. The second person singular possessive pronoun thins is inflected exactly in the same way as means. As the third person possessive pronoun has reflexive function and thus always refers to the subject of the phrase it is part of, there are no nominative forms. The possessive for the non-reflexive third person is provided by the genitive forms of the third person pronoun is, isos, ise, iso. The first person plural possessive pronoun is unsar, 
our. The second person plural possessive pronoun is iswar, your. They both are inflected like the singular possessive pronouns, except that the singular masculine nominative does not end in s, and that the singular neuter nominative and accusative has no biform ending in atta. The only attested form for a dual possessive pronoun is the dative singular feminine inquare, to you both. Gawandi thuktu garda thinama, yahus pilo huan filogatawida thuskuth. Went thyself to thy home, and proclaim how much God hath done for thee. In Greek, Vipostrephis ton u consu, que dieru se pue sensu o theos. Sunus ena haeth in sine, yach si silvo viduo, yach manahi thisos borgs gan ochamithise. His mother's only son, and she herself a widow and an ample throng from that town with her. In Greek, Ios monogenes te me triautu, ke aute gera, ke ochlos te spoleos siganos sin aute. That is all for now. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.